a beautiful day. Thank you all for uh, coming. You know, every day we uh, take care of our clothes, take care of our body, but our thinking consciousness just runs by its habit. And that's really the root of so many of our uh, sufferings in our life. Uh, practicing means uh, seeing that and letting it go. And you can tell from your experience that's, uh, that takes some effort. That takes some effort. So uh, somebody mentioned that we talk about retreat as a cleaning machine. We come together, everybody has a body opinion and thinking opinion, and we just follow some uh, schedule together. And when we see these opinions of body things appear, we try to let it go and just continue and pay attention right this moment. That's, uh, that's what Buddha did. And uh, uh, the benefits that came, we can uh, see that Buddha's teaching is just trying to show us how to uh, do that. Everybody wants happiness in life. And we're lucky. Buddha found this a true way to become free of the hindrances and sufferings of life. And so the teaching of how to do that and, and millions of people who have practiced it over 2,500 years have come down to us. And, uh, and now we share that with each other. Uh, the outside things in life are important, of course. Family and home, work, money, health. All those things are important. And we're always actively involved in those things somehow. But that's always coming and going. What, what are we? What am I? Who is this person having these experiences? If we can look into that, then our mind slowly will not be so attached to all this changing things that happen then we can use this form, this situation, this consciousness in a way that's beneficial, satisfying to ourselves and beneficial to others. And how can we do that? We call it practice. You know? uh, Zen Master Sung San used to, everybody knows, talk about don't know mind. The mind that's before thinking, our natural mind, that we're always using, but we become attached to thoughts and actions and speech and all kinds of things, and that provides our, uh, that creates our suffering and the suffering we make for others. If we look back at ourselves, then this natural mind can start to dissolve these attachments. It's not easy, but. Uh, it's better than just suffering or going up and down forever and then doing it again, another life. So you realize that, so you come here. So I hope when you go home, you continue in some fashion. You know, 108 bows is a great thing to do in the morning. As long as you're able to do it, do it. You know? And then you also experience this body when people come to retreat, even Sanim sometimes, yeah, first couple days or even a week of retreat, the body is difficult. So if you had that kind of experience, then consider learning some simple yoga. You're going to take care of your clothes. You're going to feed your body. Why not loosen it up every day too? We get so involved in the, the busyness of life that we don't take care often of the fundamental things. So you, you, left, you left your busy life for two days. That's fantastic. Not so many people will do that and took care of this uh, uh, the original nature. And that will uh, penetrate the rest of our lives. And, and then we can find a way to make our daily life itself uh, practice. But we have to kind of taste that strongly first. So 
thank you all for coming here. Uh, everyone understands the benefits of practicing together. You can feel that uh, there's things and ways you'll do that you won't do on your own, or only sometimes. So uh, come and practice together when you can, and try to develop even a small amount if you're not already doing it, of some daily practice, sitting, just paying attention to your breath, and uh, uh, looking inside. Who has experienced this? What is this? One time, we'll be gone. And uh, let's use the time we're here uh, to uh, realize the true nature, and then this coming and going uh, won't be much of a hindrance. So thank you everyone for your efforts and for coming here and your sincere mind. And uh, let's uh, enjoy lunch, cherry blossoms, <laughs> walking. Everybody's got two legs and they work. That's amazing. <laughs> you know? and, uh, and enjoy uh, the rest of your uh, day and life. Okay, so thank you very much.